Ugh. In our quest to rid the world of toxic femininity, the world needs more real men. And nothing's going to make you a real man faster than using a chainsaw. So buckle up for today's Being a Real Man lesson, Chainsaws, The Journey to Manhood. As you can see, chainsaws are an effective tool for taking care of downed trees, cutting firewood, and proving you're not gay. So accordingly, in this in-depth lesson, we'll be covering what to cut, how to cut, and what to wear for best results. What to cut. When it comes to chainsawing and selecting what to cut, there's three categories you can choose from. Things you need to cut, things you want to cut, and things you shouldn't cut, but are gonna anyway. My victim today comes from the third category. Now, I've been desiring a tree to get manly on with my chainsaw. Problem was, all my trees were living. Solution? When my wife was out of the house buying food for the family and tampons for herself, I cut this tree down. When she returned, I simply informed her that the tree must have fallen over because it had osteoporosis, and now I gotta spend my weekend drinking beer in the barn so I can cut this thing up. <laughs> Supplying my family with ample amounts of firewood that we don't need elevates me to impressive levels of protector provider status. I guarantee my wife will think very highly of me because of it even though we don't even have a fireplace. It's a good cut. Moral of the story, find something to cut. The bigger, the better. Fun fact, census data proves that no one in human history with their pronouns in their Twitter bio has ever used a chainsaw. So if that's you and you wanna use a chainsaw, what you'll wanna do first is delete your pronouns out of your bio and then never use a chainsaw because you're not a real man and never will be. Instead, what you'll want to do is sit in your beanbag and feel ashamed of yourself. What to wear. Correct attire is important for chainsawing. Jeans are a must. In fact, there's only two acceptable circumstances for real men not to wear jeans. One, you're naked. Or two, you're a woman. Now your chainsaw shirt selection is important too. So when it comes to a shirt, what you'll want to do is not wear one because you're too hot. This wardrobe choice creates the illusion that you're working harder than you are which is something important for other people to think about you. <clears throat> and if you're jacked, not wearing a shirt lets other people know that you want them to know you're jacked. But if you've got a dad bod, it sends a message, I might be fat, but I don't care what you think about me because fuck you, I'm a real man. Both are equally empowering scenarios. <laughs> Safety glasses are a must but they also make you look like a pussy who's afraid of losing his eyesight. So point out to everyone that you're only wearing them because your wife makes you. Here's more details on how to do that. I'm only wearing these because my wife makes me. And after that, take them off anyway because real men don't listen to their wives. And finally, your chainsaw wardrobe is complete with boots. Regular shoes are out of the equation because they make you look like you just want to be comfortable because you're sensitive. And sandals are always out of the equation for men because they're literally held on by the camel toe of your foot. Steel toe boots are an even better option because at the end of the day, you don't really know what you're doing with a chainsaw. And if you were to accidentally cut into your foot because you thought it was a log, you might lose a toe, which might make you cry. And that would defeat the whole purpose here, how to cut. Now, people with a feminine sense of self-preservation will consider things like gravity and which part of the tree do I wanna cut first so I don't get crushed? And what's the logical path of progression that'll make this job easier? You can go that route or you can go with a recommended alternative strategy, fast, aggressive, and thoughtless. This gives you the added benefit of not having to think being in more danger and taking longer. Pro tip, real men are considerate of others. So prior to beginning your chainsaw project, you wanna do a couple dozen push-ups to get an appropriate pump to help others feel more impressed while they're watching you. Frequently asked questions. Now, some frequently asked questions about using chainsaws that I've never been asked before are, what if I'm scared to use a chainsaw? Answer. If you're scared, that means you're a lady and shouldn't be using the chainsaw in the first place. What if I don't have anything that needs to be cut up? Answer, find something. What if I live in an apartment complex and chainsaw use is prohibited? Answer, 
Just tell management you identify as a lumberjack and need a safe space to do dangerous things in. They'll admire your bravery. And finally, what if I severely injure myself? Answer, as long as you don't cry, you should be fine. In conclusion, with these powerful lessons, you're now no more informed about how to actually use a chainsaw than you were before, but you're fully informed on how to look like a man when you do. Tune in next time for another lesson on how to be a real man, how to suppress your emotions. Until then, happy this video is for comedy purposes only. It is in no way, shape, or form intended to provide actual instructions on how to use a chainsaw. If you like the common sense to know this, then you're probably already a danger to yourself and those around you, and you should never touch a chainsaw. Hey, me and Science want to let you know I've got the biggest sale of the year going on in the Freedom Shop for Black Friday. Check it out only at awakenwithjp.com. Save massively on all your Freedom merch. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you get stressed, then magnesium breakthrough. Yeah, that's right. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Magnesium Breakthrough, made by Bioptimizers. Magnesium Breakthrough is a staple in my lifestyle, whether I'm traveling, at home. Why? Because I get stressed. Life happens, current event happens, I know about them. So I get stressed, but instead of accumulating my stress, walking around with it day in and day out, only for it to fester and make me feel like I'm anxious and exploding inside, I like to take measures to let my stress go. And Magnesium Breakthrough is a powerful way I found to do that. You might say, how's it do that, JP? Does it give you amnesia so you don't remember what you're stressed about? No, but that'd be one way to do it. It helps me de-stress because it turns out magnesium is an effective nutrient that helps us de-stress ourselves. But here's the deal. A lot of people say, well, there's magnesium in my food, or I take a magnesium vitamin and mineral supplement, and it's in there. Problems with those are our soils are depleted, so oftentimes our food's actually deficient in magnesium. And a lot of regular vitamin mineral supplements, they might contain magnesium, but it's typically only one or two weak forms of magnesium. Your body needs all seven forms of magnesium in order to effectively de-stress. That's exactly what Magnesium Breakthrough delivers to you. It's as easy as this. I take two capsules in the evening and then I sleep noticeably better at night and I wake up the next day feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, better energy, and noticeably less stress. And I wanna let you know, Bioptimizers is offering a massive Black Friday sale going on now until November 28th, where you get 25% off, not just Magnesium Breakthrough, but everything on their entire site. Just go to bioptimizers.com slash JP to take advantage of the sale and enjoy 25% off.